Oh my god. Critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. Crazy. Final Fantasy XIV. Hello. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, so... Yeah, I've played Final Fantasy XIV, critically acclaimed, cheesecake now. I've played Final Fantasy, I started about a year ago-ish, went through most of the patches, and now... I'm an Endwalker. So I figured that I would try to make this into a decent recording and keep track of what the hell I'm doing with my life. Probably throwing, a, throwing it away and wasting it. But we're just gonna see how it goes, alright. The gang is all here. We're gonna talk to these each of these guys before we go. Riange. Sir, why do you look so concerned? Cool. Dankred? Bro, literally, please look at me when you're speaking. Whatever. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Kataru. Yeah, I'm going to Charlian, that's right. Uh, Graha? Mm -hmm. Asinian? <laughs> Yeshtola? Oh, Alize first, I guess. Okay, that's true. Post Shadow Ringers, this girl and that boy over there. Their father came and then disowned them and then left. Yeah, I think Alize, I think, I think I'm gonna have to get him first and then like punch him in the face before you have words with them. Okay, and then Yishtola. Thank you, woman. All right. Alfino, let us talk. Take stock, okay. Gang is all here, Telephoroi. Yes. Final days of eons past. Okay. Yeah. I think this is like our summary. <laughs> this is our previously, previously on Final, Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is like just in just in the case that um you were a little bit too busy doing your side quest. Hold out. Cool. What if we just go in there and then destroy all of the buildings? Probably not. Thancred. Yeah, this is our this is my previously on Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Xenos, that's right. My Yandere like rival simp boy or something or other. <laughs> Cool. Are they gonna take turns talking? <laughs> oh no. Graha, confident as always. I wish this was voiced, that would have been really nice. Oh my god, word. Bound for Charlan. Are we gonna sneak in like we did for, um... Not, not sneak in, but like in Stormblood we did, we like went through a whole dungeon and a half to get there. Associate students of the students of Valdezian. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess we have a way in. Cool.
I like this music. Okay, but they got this owned Astidian. <laughs> I like how half of these are nods and half of these are just like punching each other's fists or their own fists. Thanks, Sataru. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Alphino. Ooh, new quest music. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Lanosea. Alright, that's a little far, <laughs> so I'm gonna go right there. <laughs> Fellows! Oh my god. Okay, Estinian. Yeah, sounds about right. To be sailing home again. I forgot that he also has this thing, the mark on his neck. Oriange, Thancred, bros. What's up? Indigo, indigo deep, indigo deep. I don't know what the indigo deep is, but I assume it's not good. That's fine. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> going home. That's also true. He's also from Charlayan. All right. Let's see. Who's going home here? You. 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 And you. Oh, <laughs> I forgot they were disowned within like five seconds, but hey, it'll be fine. Alize? Grand tour under happier circumstances. I think I would have liked that. Thank you, Alize. Returning to Charlotte, quote unquote. I see. So she was in, she was in the Dravanian uh, hinterlands the most of her life. So she was just like under a rock. <laughs> Thanks, Yashtola. Alright, Hataru, let's go. Oh, the fee is non-refundable. <laughs> One-way trip. I'll have all of your luggage close at hand. I have, like, one, two, like, two pockets, but sure. We've almost finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Excellent. Tis nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. Do not say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Uh... I'm gonna go through a whole dungeon. Oh my god. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. Did you guys? And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Oh, right. Aye. Tis upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's winds are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Oop. <laughs> He's older and wiser now. Now oh, that's a tale I'd like to hear. Will this be your first visit to Charlian, Sir Estinian? Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? Oh, I thought he was just like looking at the ship because he he's like I get seasick. I uh 
merely meant it as a professional courtesy since we are now colleagues in an official sense. Well, that's really ironic because I called Graha by his name the moment he was like, I have entered into the science. <laughs> so. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Valid. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Oh my god. <laughs> You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. Little Lord Alphano. <laughs> Thanks, Estinian. Better. I have new ammo to endlessly tease him with. <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. Are you alright, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. True, but, like, that's Tuesday. And, once again... I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Again, Tuesday. <laughs> I'll bring them back safe and sound, I promise. Besides, I'm main character. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Oh, bet. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Hori Boulder. Hori. Coltine, what brings you all this way? Say goodbye. We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a Lunar Primal operation, so we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. That's sweet. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey, and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. Well, they better. <laughs> they better. <laughs> we will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow signs of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. We set the sail. All aboard for Charlian. Charlian. To Charlian we hail. It's time. Indeed it is. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Wish us luck. Have a safe journey, and please, please, be careful. That's... no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, we'll try, but like... Yeah, see, I don't even nod, I just walk away. <laughs> Because I know that it's not going to be, like, it's, we're just going to get into trouble no matter what. <laughs> ding, 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 all aboard, hail for Charlene. Oh, that's such a nice picture. And so you venture forth unto the unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. The future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Emmy? Hades? That which lives is destined to die. Oh, Love yeah. Leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Yeah, this is definitely Emmy. <laughs> Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Crazy. Oh, we are traveling. Old Charlian. Up we go. Thing. 
The day has barely dawned, my fellow early riser. I like how we're just all on the ground. Hi, Graha. Though Good morning. We're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. I get seasick. <laughs> Where are the others? Oh, I'm speaking. Called out to you, you say. Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Oh. Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. That makes sense. Why are you sleeping with your knees like tucked in? That's so not good for your knees. Oh well, that's fine. This is gonna be long cutscene after cutscene. I guess so. Who? Wait, that's the person that I saw from Post Shadowbringers. Hello. You're like Heidelin, but like, not Heil Heidelin. They not? I think, maybe? Who? Hello? Your hair is very- My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. Your voice- your hair is very prettily braided, by the way. Here. Feel. Think. Hide a limb but human. Form. And thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of light, guided by the crystal. Hi. Hello. I can trust your words no longer. <laughs> Why now? I still trust her words to an extent, so like... Why now? With the Asian After you mask. sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. No, I don't. I'm really confused <laughs> right now. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. Oh. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. Yeah. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era had rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Oh. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form. An intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. When I used to be a Zen. Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. You know, I just, I said that I would like join the others on deck. <laughs> Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. Thank you. 
We shall meet again. And soon. Thank you, Heidelin. Good morning, twins. Mm. <laughs> Chipper as ever, oh, I was saying. Fine morning. Oh, still a bit stiff though. That's because you were sleeping like on your knees. And a good morning to you too. Taking a look at the island already? No, but I had a conversation with the. Then let's go. Let's go. Hydaelyn. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. Oh, nice. Sleepers have arisen. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. Often it looks so elated. in father's eyes but we'll manage on our own if we must you do know you're not alone in this don't you indeed it is as Sir Estinian said forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side I pray thee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Well, we better. <laughs> we better. Otherwise, why else would they travel? Why else would we be traveling there? Maybe if Charlene doesn't have the answers, we can just like stay there for like a century and like figure it out. <laughs> Endwalker. It's time. Charlian, the solitary island nation of the northern seas. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. Idleshire. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boots set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. Thanks, Emmy. Old Charlian. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. <laughs> What's next then? Entry applications? He's like, ah, oh, paperwork. <laughs> Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. They better not. Hasn't Charlian all but severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. 
But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. <laughs> Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. I figured our reputation would be, like, I don't know, known, and our faces would be known. You know what? Uh, I mean, still a valid point. They don't know. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Valdesian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. True. Since, you know, it kind of disappeared. Gratia. It might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? And so we walk. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldessian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. Scheduled. <laughs> scheduled. I'm sorry, but... You know what? I won't. I won't say anything. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Bro, I want to be an Archon. <laughs> Ishtola rule. I like how Ishtola said her name first, but then like they just yeeted out the rest of them. <laughs> just like we don't, we don't really, we don't really have time to like do See this. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. So they're listed as Charlink citizens? I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Home. Now, who do we have here? Oops. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Alphano Leveilleur. I thought their family. Their family name was like erased, wasn't it? Mm. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that. Oh no. The streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. Hmm. About that. <laughs> And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. We shall keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, he said. But never, like, actually listen to it. <laughs> These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Hmm. Name and occupation? Uh. 
champion of Eorzea. No. No. <laughs> Adventurer by trade. Humble enough. Core Cyrogen. Adventurer by trade. An adventurer. Well, I suppose that is considered a valid calling in your native Eorzea. And it does indeed match the profile provided. You may enter. Thank you. What if I said champion of and Eorzea? Estinian Valino, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Oh. Formerly, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Homeless. <laughs> Estinian. Estinian. Please. If you'll allow me, Kryl? My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Oh my god, Kryl, <laughs> bless. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. Oh. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. She's, she's like, nah, you're wrong. <laughs> Kryl, it's so good to see you. Kryl, it is good to see you. That is my line. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? I can't believe I've been in like a oh. cutscene for 30 minutes. Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Thank you, Kryl. <laughs> As your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. I like how the worldly affairs official is just watching us. Crazy. Oh my god, we're here! Oh my god, where's my ether <laughs> ethereal compass? <laughs> By the way, so about me calling Emmett Selk Emmy, one of my friends ended up calling him that and uh, it stuck. So um, we're just gonna pretend that that's what happened and pretend like it's always been a thing. Yes, okay, let's talk to these guys. Stinian, mercenary, oh yeah. Looks like the Crystarium. Stola. The city is not like to vanish before we finish our discussion. <laughs> like a certain phantom of honor. <laughs> Thanks, Stola. Briange. Oh, thank you. Twins. No, you're not. <laughs> I know you, Alphano, and you are not just okay with that. Alright, let's talk to Kryl. Sticklers for detail. Thank you. Wow. Kryl? Hmm. 
Hmm. Homecoming that was long overdue. Hmm. True. <laughs> These are all... <laughs> all, um... OG boys. Sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings and sitting. Aww. That's nice of her. Nose around the neighborhood. Oh. Hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oriange, what are you gonna be up to? Oh, bye. <laughs> Mysterious as ever. Oh. Bye. <laughs> very grand, but I think I like the Shadow Ringers music a little better. <laughs> yeah, he's like 20-something, isn't he? Grahatia is now a company, keeping him side in order to proceed with quest objectives. Oh... Try not speaking with Kryle. Oh my god, he's accompanying me! Hi, Graha. How you doing? Our worthy guide. He's so energetic. It's cute. Kryle. Last stand. There's a cafe on the way. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna live here. Kral is now accompanying you. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Kral at the designated location. Company. That's crazy. Kyle, I want to talk with you. To the cafe. Oh my god, they're following me. This is so cute. There's a conversation point right here. Talk to me. Oh, that's like Lev's, I think. Paris style. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go. This is cool. This is cool. This entire thing is cool. Whoa. I'm sorry. Hold on. That's cool. Who's that person over there? Can I jump in? Nope, I can't. <laughs> Graha? Giant statue in the harbor. Oh, this thing. Crawl. Hmm. Interesting. This is crazy. There's like- this is- is this the whole cafe? <gasps> Oh my god. Graha? No! Kral. Research into- sorry, I didn't read that. Nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive. Certain indifference. The food is bland. Oh, right. <laughs> Me. They have a burger? 
You were a typical Charlie when it came to cheap and convenient. <laughs> God, I could do with a nice cup of tea, if that's possible. If it's possible. This is not. This looks super nice. Oh, this looks super nice. Yeah, guys, have anything to say to me? Spare coin. Oh. Food was the least of my concerns. Oh. Ever the scholar. Alright. Hold on, I'm gonna tune to this first. This is so fancy. It's like heart shaped. That's crazy. Graha? Oh. Largest marketplace. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Archon's design. Confluence. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it looks a little battered. Alright, let's run. Come on, guys. Why so slow? Graha? Ooh! <gasps> Wait, it's a bookstore! <gasps> it's so cute! <laughs> That's cute. It looks so... It's so cute. Hello! I'd like to peruse a book. Peruse a book or two. Ooh! Graha? <laughs> no. I talked to you. Kral? Prototypes. Oh. Climb the very top. Oh god, we gotta go to the stairs. You also live for like a hundred years in the Crystarium Gra. <laughs> Instrumental in the surrounding of Charland. The Nymphaeum. The water features? Mm. I mean, it's pretty. Kral? Blessings of water. Oh, that's cool. Archon's design. Come on. Ooh, what's this building? Graha? Touch biting pleasant nonetheless. Kral. The Rostro. Form of elected representatives. So nine the ninety-nine people. Am I boring you, Ra? <laughs> you seem awfully distracted. Oh my god, wait, this is- <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Oh my god. <sighs> I am a- I'm a sucker for game design. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, and of all the way down. Graha? Nun- 
crep, crep, I can't pronounce. I can't blame the worldly affairs of the representative because I can't pronounce either. Oh. Wait, where is it? Where is it? I can't see. Hold up, hold up. What's- This is the- This is the Levier house? This is house Levier? Wow, it is big. Let me in! Oh my god, wait! <laughs> I didn't expect- I didn't expect to like enter that quickly. Oops! <laughs> Kral? Thank you. Bar shawl bear. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm embarrassed now, <laughs> but it's okay. We know what the house looks like now. It looks like a classic mansion. Little Lord Alphino is right. Let's go here and then we can we can peloton we can peloton back. Stick to the path. Oh <laughs> graha. Hmm. All right, Peloton time. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bum bum bum. Graha. Oh. <laughs> As the joyous look on Raha's face has undoubtedly informed you, that's funny. We can take you there another time. Oh, that's a cutscene. Cool. Oh wait, that's the person from... Isn't that the person from Eureka? Yeah. Oh. His... <laughs> Wrong person. Rejoin the expedition. Right. So, um, I tried to do Eureka, and then I got distracted by Bozia. <laughs> so... I guess the students of Baldesian are fine with it? With, I don't know, talking about, like, violence and stuff. Graha? <laughs> Cats. So it's like PhD. <laughs> Annex administrator. I want to speak to Graha again. <laughs> All right, let's go into the main hall. Krial. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. 
It's fine, Moriange. We're all here now. <laughs> Let's get down to business then, shall we? To defeat the Telefroy. <laughs> Let's get down to business to defeat Garlemald. <laughs> Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? That's invalid, since like half of us are men and half of us are women. What may we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition? At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian, not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlian focus on recording history, while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Galef was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. I smell political corruption or Asian interference. Maybe both. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if Having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas, namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. Not the Void Arc. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nadana, an alchemist residing in distant Thavnair. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Hmm. In response to this threat, the satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. Not when you can become tempered, though. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition. One rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Oh, well, that's where I come in, I guess. <laughs> Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. So we split up. Yes, it is quite the quandary. So we split up! Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. Don't worry. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. 
Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also yeah, like Kral's to steal obviously the services staying. of an Archon or two. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. Called it. Allow me to offer my assistance. Oh, and Gravel. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. Twins? Alize and I would also like to help, if you would have us. Oh, so they're all staying? Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the forum might be thinking. Am I going alone? Of course. The more the merrier. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavnir. So Thancred, Rianje, and Asinian will be going to Thavnir, while Yestola, Graha, Alphano, Alize, and Kryle will be staying in Charlian. It's a boys trip to Thavnir, and it's a nerd's day study down in Charlian. All right. Thoughts? Objections? Hmm. <laughs> None. I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. Thanks, Estinian. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriage. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. I suppose this is where my two quests begin. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> Look at these groups right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here for now because that was a whole cutscene, like three cutscenes and halves. So I'm gonna stop here and hopefully next time we'll tackle, hopefully tackle both of these and hopefully I won't die. So that'll be the end of it. Cheers. You know what I'm most afraid of? the myriad of side quests that are gonna open up all around here once I finish this main quest because I'm pretty sure that's going to be what happens. <laughs>